welcome back to another session of uh, dental anatomy now this particular session is uh, not about tooth carving but it is related to the introduction of various types of treats which are very important as far as dental anatomy is concerned it tells you about the description and morphology and differentiating features between two teeth now suppose now there are four types of treats there are four types of treats uh, class treats set treats arch treat and type treat so what are basically set treats so the word set means we have two sets of teeth in our lifetime so first is deciduous sets of teeth and the second one is which are replaced by permanent set of teeth so if we differentiate any particular tooth uh, uh, if we select any particular tooth and we differentiate between uh, central and permanent uh, uh, be between deciduous and permanent set then it is called as uh, set traits like suppose if I take this maxillary uh, cast and suppose if I take uh, maxillary central incisor so if question is asked what are the set traits of maxillary central incisor so then I need to differentiate between uh, uh, maxillary central incisor with the mandibular uh, with the <coughs> deciduous central incisor so this difference between the central incisors uh, one is maxillary one is permanent and second one is deciduous so this difference is called as set traits so differentiating central incisors permanent with the deciduous is called as set traits now second type of trait is class traits so we have different class of teeth um, <coughs> well, we have incisor class we have canine class we have premolar class and we have molar class so we have four class of teeth so suppose if question is asked give the class traits of incisors or central incisor then we need to differentiate a classic or specific feature of central incisor with the canine class premolar class and molar class so while writing we can make four columns and we select any particular feature and we can describe uh, that common feature uh, differentiate that common feature which in, in every class of teeth so this is called as class trait so next is arch trait what is arch trait so arch is basically um, this is maxillary arch so our teeth maxillary teeth they are arranged in a specific shape which is called as arch trait so this is maxillary arch and this is mandibular arch so if question is asked describe the arch trait of maxillary uh, central incisor then we need to differentiate maxillary central incisor with the mandibular uh, central incisor so this differences are called as uh, arch traits if question is asked describe the arch trait of lateral incisor so uh, uh, differences between maxillary lateral with the mandibular lateral similarly differences between maxillary canine and mandibular canine is the again arch trait same, same goes for premolar and molars so this is what is all about uh, arch traits <coughs> so uh, in viva uh, you need to know the specific features uh, common features and then you can differentiate then similarly <coughs> uh, uh, crown as well as root features now for that you need to um, give the differences various crown features and various root features also now what are type traits so the type traits are various types of teeth in each class like suppose if we see the maxillary arch we have incisor class so we have two central and two lateral 
in mandibular also we have two central and two lateral so if type traits of central incisor is asked you need to differentiate between central with the lateral in the same arch so the you may have to write in a tabular form and one column is for maxillary central permanent and the second column is for maxillary lateral and then you need to differentiate various anatomical features between maxillary permanent central and maxillary permanent lateral incisor so we have two types of incisor central lateral and differentiating features between them will be called as type traits now canine canine do not have any types it is single canine so there are no type traits for permanent and mandibular deciduous canines let us see the premolars so these are premolars so premolars we have first premolar and second premolar so if question is asked on the type traits of maxillary first premolar then you need to differentiate between maxillary first and maxillary second so there are multiple differences between uh, crown and root differences okay so you need to make two columns uh, for each tooth like suppose sorry like um, one column is for maxillary first uh, uh, premolar and second column column is for maxillary second premolar and then give differences okay like suppose uh, uh, one uh, uh, point is on root so maxillary first premolar is having uh, has two roots while maxillary second premolar mostly it has one root only so like this is just for example root differences similarly there are many more differences between the crown and the root now type traits of uh, molars if suppose question is asked give the type traits of maxillary molar or any particular tooth particular molar then you need to give uh, differences between the types of three molars okay so this is all about uh, type traits it go it is same for mandibular dentition okay so we have similarly incisors canine two premolars two premolars and molars so this is all about type traits